Hello members, welcome to our series on the difference between core credit union and a bank. In today's video we're going to look at loans and why a credit union loan is better than a bank loan. So three key reasons for you to think about when you're looking at a credit union loan. The first benefit is a credit union has loan protection insurance, so your loan is protected should you die during the duration of your loan. The second huge benefit is there's no fees and charges. In particular, when you get into difficulty with your loan, you're not going to be faced with fees and charges on top of your interest. And finally, I'd like to get into some technical detail about accrued interest versus applied interest and why the credit union's method of accruing the interest works out better for you as a member in the long term. So even if you turn off now, there are the three critical things you need to think about when you're making a decision. Stick with me and we'll go into, into each of these things in a little bit more detail. So the first detail I want to look at is loan protection. So a credit union protects our loan assets by providing insurance. What does this mean for you, the member? This means that if you die, your loan is cleared up to the age of 70. There are cover for people over 70 as well, but make sure you inquire with the credit union so that you understand the details. For your estate or your next of kin, this means that should the most unfortunate thing happen, they can rest assured if they've got a credit union loan, their loan liability is cleared and the savings that remain in the credit union are there for the benefit of the next of kin or for the nomination in the credit union. We're going to look at the example of how the fees and charges work on a bank loan versus a credit union loan and also how accrued interest works and versus applied interest. So we're going to look at a very simple example, a loan of €3,000. For easiness and handiness sake, we're going to take a rate of interest of 8%, which works out at two thirds of 1% per month. So what happens to you, and this is really what you need to consider when you're taking out a loan. What will happen to you in 10 months time or 12 months time if you get sick, if you lose your job, or if you can't work? In the situation we're currently in at the moment, and we're all faced at the moment with the, pan the pandemic and the country in lockdown, a lot of us are in a position where we can't work. It's not because we're sick, or it's not because we've lost our job, it's because the country is closed down. Some of us have lost our job because the country is closed down, and some of us are sick because of the pandemic. So, ironically, all of these three things have hit together at the one time, and now is the time where if you don't have a credit union loan, or if you, ha if you have a bank loan, you should really consider refinancing that with your local credit union. This is the real credit union difference. So now we're going to look at some detail here in relation to the calculations. So if we take a loan, a bank loan or a credit union, we're into month 11, so we've, we've paid it up, the balance on it is 3,000 euro, we're left with 3,000 euro. Rate is two thirds of 1% per month. So come to month 11, we've lost our job, we haven't got any income and we're not able to make a payment. So what's the difference between a bank and a credit union in this context? Well, in relation to the bank, if you look at your terms and conditions of your credit agreement and the bond I'm basing it on will have a missed payment fee of 10 euro. So we'll add in 10 euro here. So we have an open balance of 3,000 euro, a missed payment fee of 10 euro. Interest for the month on it is two thirds of 1%, which two thirds of 3,000 is going to be 20 euro. So you've got 20 euro interest, 10 euro fee, giving you a balance at the end of the month of 3,000 and 30 euro. You haven't been able to make a payment. What happens in the credit union? In the credit union, you're still going to owe 20 euro. But the difference is this 20 euro is going to be accrued. It's not going to be added to your balance. It's going to sit there. When you make a payment, it will be taken, but it's not going to be added to your balance. So at the end of the month, you still have 3,000 euro. So now you can already see a difference beginning to occur between the two of 30 euro. So let's get into month 12, the next month down the line, and you're still not back to work. What happens again in the case of a, of a bank? Well, your interest now is going to be charged on a calculated on 3,030 euro, which comes at 20 euro and 20 cent interest. And you're going to have your missed payment fee of 10 euro, giving a total at the end of the second month of missed payments of 3,060 euro, 20 cent. So now your balance has gone from 3,000 up to 3,060 euro. Again, in the credit union, the interest is not going to be applied. It's, you're not going to have fees applied. So at the end of the second month, you're going to have 3,000 euro balance. So now you can see that the balance has increased by 60. The difference between the balances has increased by 60 euro. You still will owe the 20 euro to the credit union for that month as well, 
but again, it's not being added to your balance. And that is a crit critical, di critical difference. So if we move on, say 10 months or 11 months of missed payments or reduced payments or, or you're having issues making your payments. So at the end of month 22, the difference because begins to, to get substantial. So at the end of month 22, you have 337350 of a balance on your loan with the bank, whereas you still only have a balance of 3,000 euro on your loan with the credit union. You will owe the interest because you haven't made any payments. So you owe 240 euro in accrued interest. But again, you can see a difference of 373 euro between the balance less than 240 euro of accrued interest. So there we have it, my friends. That is the real difference between a credit union loan and a bank loan. If the loan was bigger or the interest rate was higher, this gap would widen at a much quicker pace. So if you have any comments or you'd like me to answer any other questions for you on the difference between a bank and a credit union, please leave it in the comment section, either on YouTube or on Facebook, and we'll add it to another video. So thank you very much for joining me today.